What up, YouTube? For today's video, we have a full ground type moves Pokemon team. Man, we haven't done a theme team for a couple of days. It's good to be back, people. Now, um, I only used ground type moves to attack in this video, so it was rather difficult coming out against flying types and stuff like that. I shall be streaming on Twitch tonight, doing some, uh, I'll probably be doing some showdown battles or some battles on the 3DS, something like that. So I'd love for you guys to be there. Link is in the description of the video, Twitch TV slash Pip Night. Make sure you're following people. And uh, it should be good. I'll be doing that probably around the same time as this goes live. So if you want to check this video out, then come and watch me afterwards. That would be awesome. Or if you just want to open a second tab, you can do that as well and uh, listen to my voice twice. Nothing could be sweeter. So we have a battle on my Discord. This was against Hunt69. And we got a Lola Golem. And I've got my Alola Ma I've got a normal Marak. <laughs> God damn it. Anyway, so we got the uh, Stealth Rocks getting set up. Uh, at the start there. I'm not really too fussed about that because my team doesn't really mind Stealth Rocks, you know, most of them being ground types. And we got a special Alolan Golem. So I was hoping I didn't get burned by the Fire Blast and I wasn't. So I'm going to hit Alolan Golem with two bones and that is going to take it out. So this set was actually pretty good. Well, it wasn't pretty good. It was, it was pretty fun to use. So we got a Bone Rush, a Focused Energy, Stomping Tantrum and Attract. Let's go for what this amazing set was. And I do want to stress, people, I was using only ground type moves to attack, right? So I didn't use any other type moves to attack the opponent. All right, so we got a Gastron coming out. I went for the attract. I, just, I, I took a little risk here as I thought, oh, they're going to go for a water type move. This will be risky. But instead, they went for a scummy body slam. So like, okay, uh, maybe they, you know, what sort of, like, what sort of mean set is this going to be? Anyway, so I thought, okay, let's go for Focus Edge here. I could go for attract, Focus Edge. I may get a... Uh, infatuation and not get, you know, get hit the next turn, but uh, that was the case and I'm going to get around it. So I'm expecting some kind of water type move to be coming my way. Uh, Gastron is going to get attracted again, but it gets through it and hits me with another body slam and uh, the next body slam is going to take my Marowak out. Now the reason I used focus energy twice was to make a move fail so I could get a double base power on Stomping Tantrum and Stomping Tantrum takes out Gastron in one shot. A really cool move. I oh, also, the question of today is, what is your favorite ground type move? Huh, my, mine would have to be Stomping Tantrum, Magnitude, or Fissure. Like, I don't know, sort of like a tie on all, all those moves. All right, so we've got a Metaros coming in. It's going to be a special set. Very nice. And uh, that is going to take out my Marowak. Marowak did a pretty dang good job then. So I'm not actually really too concerned. So now we're going to bring in Doug Trey. This, <laughs> this, was, this was actually mean. All right, so we're going to go for the uh, Sandstorm here. We're running a Scummy Sand Vowel set. So we've got Earthquake, Sandstorm, Fissure, and the Mud Slap. Amazing set, guys. Absolutely amazing. Uh, item is Bright Powder as well. All right, so we've got the Metaros going for the Psychic on Doug Tree. Doug Tree doesn't take that one very well. And I went for a Fissure. I was like, bugger, let's go for Fissure. Fissure lands on the Metagross, and Metagross is going to faint. So I was like, this is awesome. And F Metagross has a Focus Sash. Who runs Focus Sash on Metagross? This is the content you guys subscribe for. <laughs> Focus Sash Metacross. Okay, so down goes my dub tree. I must admit, I was I was really salty at this point. I was like, God damn, Focus Sash. Damn. So I'm putting I'm putting Focus Sash. What's the, I'm gonna put Focus Sash on Deoxys D and wait my entire life for someone to make it in use. All right, so I'm gonna bring in my uh, Smiggle. This was a Belly Drum Smiggle. I normally run this on these teams with a uh, thousand arrows. We got Spore Belly Drum conversion, convert me into a Ground type. And thousand arrows, max attack and max speed. <laughs> Focus Sash Metagross. Focus Sash Metagross better be the top comment today, people. It better be. All right, so now we've got the uh, Zekrom coming up. And uh, I didn't call it Reshiram, guys. And uh, now I'm going to go for the conversions. I thought they might go for Electric type. I was correct, and that is not going to affect me. So I thought I could be really cheeky and go for a belly drum here, but I thought, nah, let's go for thousand arrows, get some damage off. That's probably the best I can really do, right? So I go for the thousand arrows, get some pretty good damage against the uh, Zekrom. I was pretty happy. It was a crit, obviously. And uh, now we got Dragon Breath. This was a really scummy set. I think this has been used against me before. It's just a really tanky set that like paralyzes all your Pokemon. And yeah, it, it was one of those really annoying sets. So now we've got the uh, Thousand Arrows, and obviously that's not enough to take out the Zekrom. Obviously, I'm only, I don't even have any like attack boost at all. And Zekrom is going to go for the rest. It's like, okay, okay. I can't really go for a Belly Drum here because you know, I'm on low. And I, 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 there's no way I'm able to go for it. So I thought, okay, let's see if I can get as many attacks off as possible. Then, you know, Revenge K with another Pokemon. So it's going to have a Chesterberry to wake it up. Uh, going for a Thousand Arrows again. Thousand Arrows quite handy on this team too. Obviously, all those flying types hanging around and levitating Pokemon were the biggest counter to this team. 
I had another Pokemon that could get around that too, being my Claydol, but more on the Claydol a little bit later. I didn't really get to... I pretty much just swapped the Claydol out. Okay, so into Mudsdale. Now, Mudsdale is probably the best Pokemon on my team. So this was an awful set. We had High Horsepower, Magnitude, Bulldoze, and Mudslap. Uh, we had Max Health, Max Attack with Own Tempo, and abil uh, the uh, Ability Assault Vest. Item Assault Vest! Goddamn! Can it... I just... Can I just go like one battle without doing that? Anyway, so going for the high horse belt. Man, that does some damage. Almost takes the Zekrom out. And uh, of course, I'm paralyzed by the Dragon Breath. And now this thing's going to go to sleep again. So like, I've got to take this out. I don't think any of my other Pokemon can actually take this Pokemon out because it's so freaking bulkier. I'm just having a look like my... No, they, they would not have. So Mudstar was basically the heart of my attack force. Uh, like Marowak. Marowak need a lot more setup though. Um, I had Doug True, but that was like a meme with fish, so it wasn't definitely a guaranteed thing. All right, so we got the uh, Sleep Talk Zekrom. Uh, they've taken some inspiration from yours truly. And uh, now we got the Charge Beam. Obviously, it's not going to affect me because I'm a ground type. And uh, I'm going to go for the high horsepower again, and that is going to take out the Zekrom. Thank God I had Mudstar because I never would have been able to take that out. It's just too tanky. Okay, what other Pokemon do we have? And of course, guys, we've got a Mega Count here being. Not only, not only a water type, but uh, obviously a flying type as well. So this is this is like this is like super duper mega counter. So into Hippotus, right? So I thought let's get some sandstorm damage up. I might be able to get a toxic up against this thing. We'll see, uh, you know, what kind of set it is. So this Hippotus set was max health, max special defense, sand tomb, toxic dig, and slack off. Uh, the ability of sand uh, stream, as you've already seen, and we've got the Everlight as the eye. So we've got a Z power coming out. It's going to boost its speed. And it's going to use Z Rain Dance. So what Z Rain Dance? Obviously, it's going to boost its speed. And it's going to use the uh, you know normal effects of Rain Dance. And it's going to power up any water type moves that it's going to use, which it most certainly definitely is. So I was like, oh, this is this is really bad. How am I going to get past this thing? Hydro Pump misses. It's a special set. And uh, I'm going to go for the Toxio on Gary. So I think... I would have lived that super badly. This is a bulky Everlight set, but man, I definitely wouldn't have lived another one. So I think I just would have lived that one like super, super badly with Hippotus. So I thought, I really need my Hippo. I've got to swap it out. So let's go into Mudsdale. It's got an Assault Vest. I might be able to get a free swap in if it does miss again. Like, it, it was very difficult to swap into this Pokemon. Like, look at my team. Like, what, you, what could you swap in? Anyway, so uh, the Gyarados is going to take me out with the Hydro Pump. I had a Salt Vest there. It didn't matter. My horsey is going to go down. All right, people. I needed some absolute miracle to bring me back into this game, or I was going to get shredded. In comes the Clay Doll. So this was uh, my set to get around uh, these types of Pokemon. So Hydro Pump is going to hit me, and boy, does it hit me hard. I lived on five health. I was so lucky there getting uh, that live off, and I'm going to eat my berries. So let's go for what the Clay Doll set is. Clay Doll had Gravity, Earth Power, Mud Slap, and Trick Room. So first things first, we needed to set up that Trick Room. So Trick Room is uh, now in effect. We're going to twist those dimensions a little bit, and that's going to make my slower Pokemon go first. So now my Clay Doll has Gravity. Now what Gravity do, um, it'll actually allow me to hit the Gyarados with ground type moves, and anything basically levitating is, you know, it's going to fall flat on its face. All right, so now we've got a Hurricane, and uh, that is going to hit me as well. It doesn't quite take me out. Obviously, it's in in the rain. It's very accurate, and uh, Hydro Pump isn't so accurate. So that wasn't quite enough to take out my Claydol. And uh, now I'm going to swap. They're going to actually swap out their Gyarados, and we got the Francisco coming in, which is the Fortress. It's like, okay, let's go for Earth Power. I decided to attack the Gyarados, and Earth Power does. You know, it's a solid two hit KO on the uh, Fortress as well. And uh, the second Earth Power is going to take it out. I was running a hindering nature. This was quiet nature. Max health, max special attack. Uh, zero in the speed. And that actually outsped the Fortress and Trick Room, which was nice. The last Pokemon is the Gyarados. You guys already know uh, this Gyarados set. It's a special one. And uh, now I can go for the Earth Power on the Gyarados. Obviously, the Gravity is still in effect. Gravity is a really cool move. It doesn't quite take the Gyarados out, but it definitely puts it in range. And Gyarados is going to sink me with Hydro Pump. But that pretty much is the game, people. Gyarados is going to go down to the Toxic. And man, Claydol was MVP there at the end. That was uh, that was very crazy. So uh, down goes the Gyarados. Probably Gyarados is probably one of the biggest counters to my team. So it's it cool to show you guys, um, you know, that I came up against something like that. All right, so uh, nice battle hunt. That was a really interesting team. And uh, the second battle we have is against uh, Wolfram on my Discord. If you guys do want to battle me on Discord too, my uh, uh, link is in the description there. Also take battles on my Twitch too. So um, yeah, that's how you go about battling me and stuff. And that's kind of when I have time to do them. 
All right, so we got a Lampard Lee there. Once again, I'm going to say my Clay Doll. Clay Doll is actually very, very important to this team, especially like flying types and stuff like that, or levitating Pokemon. All right, so we've got uh, Scummy Lampard. I have seen this Pokemon before, but I haven't actually seen its entire set. So it's going to be a Z Flash set. So it's like, okay, let's... So since, if you guys didn't know, just for some new applies, um, Pokemon that have like moves like Fissure, Sheer, Cold, you know there's one hit KO moves that actually aren't affected by accuracy. So this is sort of like a perfect... A perfect, well, it's, it's not perfect, but it's probably my best kind of option here to go against the Lampard. So I decided to start going for Fissure against this thing. So Fissure against the Lampard is going to miss. Lampard is going to go for the attract, and I'm going to avoid the attract. So I've got, I've got evasion, and this thing has evasion as well. So it's like a scummy evasion war happening right now. All right, so the second Fissure is going to miss, and uh, Lampard is going to land its attract against my Dugtress. This isn't good. I was thinking, should I stay in, or should I, should I go for a lucky Fissure, or should I swap out? Uh, it was kind of annoying. Not that it really mattered too much. I wasn't la I wasn't really worried too much about Lamp, and I thought I could swap something in to take it out. And I decided to conserve my Doug Tree and maybe for later on in the game. So we've got Incinerate here coming from the Lamp, and it does minimal damage to my Marowak. Now, Marowak, as you guys know, do have... Uh, does have the Focus Energy and Stopping Tantrum, and also got Bone Rush as well. All right, so I'm going to get hit by another... Uh, and another uh, incinerate. Now, a track fails there, which is exactly what I wanted, right? So I can go for the Stomping Tantrum next turn and get that double base power. And now the Stomping Tantrum is going to hit the uh, Lampert at full base power, and that one is definitely not going to live. A really cool move, but uh, obviously it's very situational. Also, it's uh, to be noted too, you can't use like... Um uh, you can't go for the uh, Protect and Stomping Tantrum. That doesn't work. The move actually has to... Um, apart from that move, actually has to fail. So it's got some interesting mechanics to it. All right, so we've got the uh, Volcarana coming out. I'm on my last legs here. Uh, it's going to be a physical set or it's just as... Uh, or it could have three special moves and that's like a... Uh, a, just a scouting or whatever uh, move set they've got it. And that's going to take my uh, Marowak out. It didn't really matter what set it was. I was on no help. All right, so now we got the uh, we got the Mothman coming in. So this, uh, some Pokemon, you can probably guess what sort of team this was. It was a Lamp and Five Moths, right? It's like a meme team, right? All right, so bringing in my Claydol here, I've got no choice. It's not probably the greatest matchup in the world either. Like, this team was actually pretty good against my Claydol, which is sort of like a key player in my team. And uh, it's going to go for U-turn, does a lot of damage. I'm guessing it's like Choice Banded. And uh, now we've got another moth coming out, which is the Volcaro. So we've seen both these. I'm going to go for the gravity. So I've set the gravity up. That's like my main purpose on this clay doll. If I can get anything more out of it, that'd be good. But mainly, uh, you know, the clay doll gravity was all I wanted to use in this battle on the clay doll run. Okay, so now we're going to bring in the Mud Cell. Uh, Mud Cell can just freely spam high horsepower. And uh, Volcaro is going to go for the acrobatics. Now, I wasn't running stamina on this set. Um, I w it would have been really handy, but I, I thought I'd go for a different ability for a bit of a change. And uh, now we've got the U-turn. Obviously, d the acrobatics and U-turn doing a little bit of damage. There wasn't too much I was actually scared of on this team. Now, so now we got the... Uh, we I nearly called that Venom off. Dust Ox coming out there. Go for the high horsepower. Boy, that does a lot of damage. And Moon Moth gets sent to the moon. So we got uh, that one down. We've got four Pokemon remaining. We've seen two of the Moths. And uh, now we've got uh, two more Moths remaining. All right, so we got the Poisoned... Uh, we got the Poison Moth from here. So now, it's obviously, it's got the Toxic Orb. It's going to go for Camouflage, so it's going to go for Facade, right? Um, I know that old set. I've, I've run that set on, like, so many Pokemon. It's quite fun to use. And, uh, man, that gets bodied by Mudstone, and that's going to go down in one shot. I, was, I, I, actually, I actually thought they would just live there and able to attack me, but uh, it wasn't. Maybe I got a high-end roll there. So we got the uh, Venomoth coming out. It's going to go for the Giga Drain. I do have the Assault Vest, so it's not going to do too much damage. And uh, I can just go for high horsepower again. I'm just like high horsepower spamming everything. Definitely the best Pokemon on my team. All right, so the Gravity, unfortunately, is going to return to normal. And uh, now Venomoth is going to go for another Giga Drain. It's going to need like another one after this one to take me out. So I was in a pretty good position at the moment. Now, there was only one problem. The Gravity had gone and there was a Pokemon that, you know, could definitely make a difference of that. So now I'm going to go for the Magnitude. Magnitude looks absolutely awesome. It looks way cooler than Boring Earthquake. Um, and Magnitude has a varying uh, base power too, which I find really interesting. Okay, so now we got the last Pokemon being the Hawk Moth, the last, last Pokemon to reveal. So, Masquerin, how are we going to get around Masquerin? I can't use any moves against it. I don't want to swap in my, uh, you know, my um, Play Doll at all because, you know, if this if that goes down, it's ball game, right? I can't hit anything. The only Pokemon I've got is my Hippodus with Toxic. That's pretty much it for me to hit Flying type clues. Okay, so I don't want to allow uh, this to get a Felstinger uh, like boost because they'll get plus three in attack. So I've got to set up the sand. 
get some damage with the sand and gets it and uh, you know go for the toxic on the massacre. All right, so now we got the uh, now we got the fell singer that's going to do nothing at all to my hippotus. Then I was thinking, okay, I've got Smeagol still. Uh, maybe I could put it to sleep. That may be better because I'll actually have some room to set up the uh, you know my gravity on my cloud on them. All right, so now we got the uh, we got a, uh, we got whirlwind on the dub tree. And guess who comes in? My Smeagol. So I was like, oh, that's actually really good. So I was like, okay, I can go for the Spore right here and put this thing to sleep. And then I could swap in my Claydol and maybe set the gravity up. That could be my last hope uh, apart from using Toxic against the Massacre to actually take it out. All right, so uh, I lift that one, which was nice. And I'm going to go for the uh, Spore putting the Massacre into sleep there. So that was, uh, sorry, that was the air waste too. Okay, so the Moth is asleep. So I'm going to take a really risky swap here. I can swap in my Claydol, right? into a fell stinger it gets a plus three attack and then it's over like i don't think i could get maybe move my hippotus i might be able to get around it with slack off but it'll be you know be a lot harder than it needs to be all right so into my clay doll the moth is staying asleep so i was praying i could get you know this gravity off it was really really important all right so the moth is going to stay asleep for the second turn and uh now clay doll is going to get off the gravity so that's basically what i wanted to happen so now everything is going to fall to the ground i can hit that um I've been calling. Have I been calling this Motham a masquerade with the, <laughs> the the ground type moves? Okay, so now the moth finally wakes up and it's going to hit me in my eye with a fell stinger and it's going to get the fell stinger boost too. So that's kind of bad. So down goes my clay doll. Right. So it's going to get a plus three attack. We know the fell stinger obviously it's its bug stab type moves. So I thought let's go into Hippotus. This is like my only bulky Pokemon. Doug Tree is going to go down to it. Smeagol's going to go down to it. And mud style, I mean, I've still got my mud style though, but it's on low health. So I've got to see if I can get around it. So the strongest move and obviously most accurate move is air waste. Does pretty good damage. And now I'm going to go uh, for the toxic. So I've got the toxic up against that. I could have gone for a dig, but I thought, nah, I've got to get toxic up. That's very, very important in case the gravity does run out. Um, I need some way of actually doing damage to this thing, you know, besides the sandstorm. In case it's got roost or something like that too. Right. So now swapping out my Hippotus is important. I need to conserve that. And uh, now we're going to go into Smeagol. Smeagol pretty much is, you know, I don't need it anymore. I know they're going to go for another air away, so I won't be at risk of going for a Fell Stinger and giving them like a plus six in attack. Uh, so that was good. So Smeagol's down. Pretty much I'm letting the Toxic and the Sandstorm rack up against the Massacre in here. So I need like two more turns and it's pretty much done. So now I'm going to go into the dub tree here. I was like, okay, I've got the bright powder. I've got the sand veil. Let's see if we can do this. Fissure lands. I was like, yes. And uh, this time there's no focus sash on the <laughs> focus sash man across. And uh, Massacre is going to go down. So we've got one more Pokemon being the uh, Volcarana, which I've seen on the, to, to be a physical set. And uh, Doug Tree is obviously going to be able to outspeed this thing in the sand too. All right, so go for the Fissure. It's going to miss. And uh, now we got Fly, guys. Fly, I wonder if this has Sharp Beak. <laughs> so it's going to have the Power Herb Fly on the Doug Tree. It actually lands in the sand, which is uh, which is awesome. And it does under half health. Uh, taking a little bit of damage there to the uh, sand stop. Go for another Fissure. Fissure misses. Volcaran is going to go for now for Acrobatics, getting a power boost of not having an item. Doug Tree lifts on 10 health. The Sandstorm has now subsided. This is the last turn Fissure is going to land, and it does. And that, my friends, is game. Hope you guys enjoyed both these battles. And <laughs> there were some funny sets on these Pokemon. And yeah, um, that was really difficult getting around all those flying-type Pokemon Levitite. All right, people. Enjoy the bloopers.